Hey y'all, it is Monday. I am still on vacation. I'm still in vacation mode. Yeah, I feel like my glasses are dirty as hell. I really need to get some new glasses. Um, My goal was to get some in a couple of more months, but we're gonna have to postpone on that. Uh, These glasses are about three years old, but they're Versace, Versace. <laughs> Versace, they're Versace, and they're really, really good quality. Um, uh, of course, I get, I had some glasses two years ago. I got glasses two years ago. Last year, I got contacts. So, if you know, if you were insurance, you could only use your insurance for one of the other contacts or glasses. So, last year, I opted for contacts the year before I got glasses. But the prescription, the reason why I wear these, the prescription on these is a little bit more crisper than the one, than my previous one. Girl, yeah, my hair is crazy. This is still that, um, put this up here, y'all. Is this better? Let me do it right there. This is still that, um, Girl, Bantu knot, yeah, it didn't even last at all. Didn't get me, yeah. It gave me great hold the day of, but by the next day, okay, and now this is the third day, not even having it, but I'm going to be detangling my hair today for wash day tomorrow, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and review that Qdad, is that how you pronounce it? I'm gonna have to look up the pronunciation, but I'm gonna compare it with that in the Felicia Leatherwood. I can tell you already, that dang gone, Ooh, that, cool that, that brush, that comb, excuse me, is heavy as hell. It's bulky and it's heavy. It looks like a, it's the size of a flat iron. So imagine using a, not even a flat iron, it's bigger than a flat iron, yeah. A huge, one of those big flat irons with, you know, not this small skinny one, but a big flat iron. Just imagine trying to, to detangle your hair, detangle your hair with a flat iron. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I'm at the gym. I will be going in, but y'all, thank you all for all the birthday wishes. I had a fabulous birthday. It was awesome. Um, we did end up going out, and look, I am glad that I listened to my mommy intuition and dropped JB off because my friend Wanda showed up with her boyfriend. Now, first of all, I didn't even know she had a boyfriend, girl. I didn't even know, and so she showed up with him. She was a little late, and normally she's uh, on time. I'm like, why is this heifer late? She was like almost 30, no, 20 minutes late. And I'm like, why is she late? But that's okay, we didn't have any, you know, when, I, when I'm going out, whatever, you show up when you can, baby. So, um, when she texts me, she's like, I'm on my way. I said, cool, I'll order you a drink. And she's like, well, order me two, wink, wink. She sent an emoji that had a wink. I'm like, what the hell does that mean? And by then, I've already had some liquor in me. So I'm like, whatever, girl. Your ass gonna get one. You, I'll get you another when you get here. So she start, showed up with her boyfriend, right? And so she already, she must have already been prepared, y'all. Because I am the same person that you see me here in person. The, I, I'm the same person. There ain't nothing changing about me. So I, I rarely... <laughs> I say what's on my mind, and when I got some liquor in me, I really say what's on my mind. So, a lot of my friends, when they are introducing me to someone else, they give them a, um, they give them a heads up about me. I'm like, well, what the hell you gotta do that for? You ain't got to do that. You know, they should know, you know, already. You, you'll be, they'll be okay, hell. So, she's like, I already told him about you. I gave him a heads up how you are. I'm like, what do you mean a heads up? Shit. So, anyway... <laughs> They walk up and she's like, hey everyone, um, this is my boyfriend, Francis. I said, Francis? <laughs> and they start laughing. I'm like, well, hey Francis, nice to meet you. So he starts laughing. Great gentleman, older gentleman, not older. 40s, in his early 40s. Um, Cause hell, we, we 38, she's turning 38 in two more weeks actually. And um, she's like, yeah, I already told him about you. She said, I know you don't like surprises. I said, you know, you know damn right, I don't like no surprises. Y'all, but I was okay, but I was a little worried about my husband because my husband is an extreme introvert. And if you know introverts, they don't like surprises. They need to be prepared for who's coming. We need to stalk your Facebook page. We need to know what's, what's coming. So, but he did good, he was fine. It was fun, we had a good time. We were there for like, Two and a half hours, yeah. Drinking it up, eating it up, and of course her ass is like, she's like, we're going to Vegas, and um, and her boyfriend was like, you guys want to come? I said, oh, we can't come. We got a baby. We we can't go to Vegas. And Wanda's like, yeah. She's like, and when they go to Vegas, they don't tell anyone. They go to Vegas, they do it big, four days, and we leave. He's like, oh, really? I said, yes. We go. We 
we drop some coins, baby. And but we don't really, you know, we're not the type. Again, introvert, introverts. We're not the type to, you know, uh, flaunt it on on Facebook. You know, you guys saw that vlog a couple of times, but. Excuse me, I don't tell people about stuff until I'm actually on my way or when I come back. You know, I'm not inviting people. You want to come here? No, you can't come on my vacation. <laughs> no. No, you know, with family, yeah. You know, my family was there that time before, and that's different. But, um, yeah, he invited us to Vegas. I'm like, no, we, we can't do Vegas. Not, not especially how they do it, girl. They were out to... They'd be out to 2 or 3 o'clock, she tells me. But that's good. I'm happy for her. Um, but, oh, yeah, she's like, you know, I got this cake I want you to make me, for me for my birthday. I'm like, girl, send, send me the recipe. She wants some straw. She said a strawberry, a strawberry pound cake with some type of, with coconut icing or something. She said, I, she's the only one I know, <clears throat> the only one I know who could pull this off is you. I'm like, okay, girl. I don't see what I can do, y'all. It's getting hot in here. Let me let down the window. Window, look, country as wonder. Um, but getting closer to 40 is doing something to me mentally. So, y'all, I, I was this morning really taking, you know, a little time to think about, okay, Vivian, we really need to start manifesting what we want to do in life. I mean, going on, some things were kind of put on hold due to my surgery and just school starting and busy with getting JB situated, but now I'm getting back refocused, okay? Um, I listened to a couple of self-help uh, dialogues this morning, and um, one of the major things, child, what is going on with this man's hair? I think his hair is still wet and it's sticking up in the in the front like alfalfa. Y'all know who I'm talking about? Girl, poor thing. Oh Lord Jesus. So anyway, y'all. <laughs> I can't laugh, Lord. I can't laugh loud because my window's down and he's walking by. God forgive me. Y'all pray for me. Um getting closer to 40 and thinking about I, I don't know. If a lot of people really take into consideration or think about as they hit a certain landmine, not landmine, um, financially, I will be the first to admit I've gotten a little bit of trouble um, over the course of the past few years, and especially since I, I got back with my husband, and just being a little irresponsible financially. The good thing about it is that I make a good living. But when you make money, I feel like the more money you make, the more money you can spend, right? So the way that we work things out in my family, I don't have any problems telling you guys. Is I feel like a lot of people, um, you know, I'm not going to tell you how much I make, but I feel like a lot of folks, you know, are a little bit secretive to how they deal with their finances, finances, and especially if they're married. Um, they typically don't share unless it's another married couple. Girl, please. Some of y'all know. Um, in our household, my husband takes care of the major bills, meaning the mortgage, the electricity. I take care of all the small little bills. And, of course, we both take, a, take care of any um, debts that we have acquired ourselves. Now, I know a lot of couples, they put all their money together and everything goes out of one. Now, we do have... We have one account that's combined, and then we have a savings account for JB that we, we both um, uh, contribute to. But girl, we have our own accounts. Are you serious? Because I'm the weaker of the two. I, yeah, I can be responsible for that. Now, well, the one thing that I do is that I manage all of the household bills. But something that's like a huge project that deals with the house, he'll take care of. So for example, the solar panels, which we're getting in a couple of more weeks like in two more weeks they're installing it he took care of all of that financially and organizing all of it i didn't even know about it until he told me you know he's like i'm thinking about getting solar panels and he took care of all of that he managed it i just asked him how it's going that's how it works for us um now since oh and i was taking care of jb stuff but but if i needed help with that absolutely he would you know provide financial resources girl so anyway um now since jb is in school and i don't have that four hundred five hundred dollars sometimes six hundred dollars a month um i can use that money towards other things like paying off this damn debt, debt girl so yeah y'all just thinking about that and my husband um and i discussed possibly purchasing land in east texas for mostly for jv again creating generational wealth right now where i'm tr i'm trying to get out of as much debt as possible before i turn 40 so that by the time i'm in my 40s i could put more towards my 401k and just have a little bit that i'm just paying on does that make sense so yeah i'll have a good 25 30 years left of working girl so i might as well up my 401k 
contribution as much as possible um, but in the in the meantime also try to invest in something so purchasing some land later on if he wants to retire later on because right now it's, it's very affordable to get it right now um, and so while we're there in Texas next month I'm going to see about speaking to a real estate agent and I know I have two or three family members who have well they have a house that sits on acres so it's not like they just purchase land the home that they got is on land so yeah y'all just thinking about stuff like that look i'm not trying to leave any debt for my child hell i ain't trying to have any debt for me instead trying to have some type of wealth for my child and i think land is the way to go right now um i was asking what did he think about investing in the stock market he's like no let's just take all that money because that's that's gambling basically let's just take all that money and put it into buying some land for our, for our child so i'm like okay came all the way up here to return JV's clothes and children's places shut down. They were open two weeks ago. They're gone. So I'm wondering if they're doing mostly online stuff because I, when I would go to there when JV was a baby, there was no one in there. Why do my eyes look red? I think it's the um, setting. Anyway, so I went to um, Rubio's to get me some food. Got me some nachos and they have sangrias, girl. I got me a sangria and sat down and chilled out. Um, and then after this, I'm gonna go to Nothing But Cake and get me a red velvet cake. I hope y'all can hear me. We'll see when I play this shit back. But yeah, they got rid of uh, Charm and Charlie's. They got rid of Panera Bread. They got rid of a lot of different stuff out here. Yeah, I changed my nail polish color yet again. I wasn't liking that hot pink anymore, so I changed it to, um, this is um, opal. So yeah, I'm just relaxing, soaking up some vitamin D. y'all i am home my hair is kind of cute like this girl um i want to watch claws before i go pick up boo boo y'all we we one of jamie's nicknames is boo boo we got a lot of different um nicknames for him boo boo tonka tonka um so sweet he was good this morning i had to i didn't have to bring up my flip-flop girl <laughs> That was a little good me time. I texted a few people, followed up with a few folks to see how they doing. Um, girl, I am not ro watching Roman is Israel Esquire with Denzel. Yeah, I can't watch that with him looking a hot damn mess. He really got into character for that movie. Um, let me show y'all what this is. I got my birthday cake from Nothing Bunt Cake. If you're not familiar with Nothing Bunt Cake, first of all, if you're not familiar with a bunt is, B-U-N-D-T, it is the shape of a cake pan, a type of cake pan, which is a bont cake pan, um, mostly used for pound cakes and stuff like that. So um, bont cake and pound cake can be interchangeable. However, traditionally, I'm gonna we'll do a little history on y'all. A pound cake was made with a pound of flour, like a pound of butter, you know, that's why it was called a pound cake. But anyway, so I got the red velvet bont cake. Uh, did I ask for extra icing? Because she sure didn't give it to me. Because you're asking to ask for it, girl. I will probably eat all of this, so go ahead and judge me. Um, because I'm not having dinner tonight. Um, that I didn't eat all of those nachos, but it said it was a thousand calories. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I consumed about 800. And this is another 300. I'm trying not to do no more than 1,500 calories a day. I did work out today too. Yeah, real quick, when I went to the gym, I forgot my headphones. And so I asked a little girl at the um, counter, I said, do you guys sell, sell headphones? She's like, yeah. She's like, but if you want, you can check the lost and found for, you know, I'm pretty sure someone, you really think that I'm gonna get somebody else's earphones and put their damn wax in my ear? You dirty helper. Y'all, no, that's nasty. I said, oh, I said, oh no, that's nasty. Um, they could have, they could have like staff or something. <laughs> so she had some, charged me $7, $7. Um, 
Mm, mm, mm. This is so good. Y'all, when I tell you, and, and they put um, chocolate chips in it. Yeah, my job gave me this, bought me this for my um, my baby shower. They, they hosted me a baby shower at my work when I was pregnant. Mm, 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 mm. So, what I was kind of saying while I was at the, um, I know y'all really probably couldn't hear me, is that I'm getting burnt out on product reviews. Not necessarily hairstyles, but product reviews I'm getting burnt out on. So, I still have the Woman to Woman series coming up more than likely in October. But um, as far as hair related, I am done with product reviews. I just am, y'all. Um, hmm. I have those two product reviews coming up. And I have Sultanicals coming up, I think, in September. Um, I have, and I'll let you guys know this. I don't, I don't feel like a lot of YouTubers, other YouTubers let y'all know, you know, as far as sponsorships and stuff like that. I probably have, I say about once a month, I'll have a company reach out to me to do a product review. Now, I think I mentioned when I, when I was with Naturally Curly, it was a lot more frequent because they had an actual reviewer program. Um, and sometimes I would reach out to people and they would be like, cool, we'll send you stuff. But now I'm like, no, mm, I don't want anything, girl. Um, I don't have any more room in that bag. Like, there is no more room. I filled up all four shelves, it's ridiculous. So, I don't wanna, you know, make any promises or I want I don't want to do something that I know that I can't stick to. Um, so instead of you know coming on and I don't know, I think that for me realistically to do a three month update, six, nine, twelve month, that's realistic. You know, perhaps as well if I'm gonna try a new DIY, because I'm you know I'm up about my DIY. If I have some, you know, some DIY um, deep conditioner or a pre-poo, then I can share that but to actually go out and scout, quote unquote, for new products, I won't do that. I won't be doing that. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, and the products are essentially free because what I do is when I get my YouTube coins on the 21st, I take that money and turn around and pay myself, and then I go buy, you know, about $50, $60 worth of pair products. So yeah, girl, we ain't just, using our own coins to buy these products. So this stuff is expensive. I don't wanna add more type of content, meaning I'm already doing cooking, vlogging, reviews, tutorials. That's a lot, in my opinion. Oh, and the series, you know? So that's a lot. That's like five different areas. That's a, quite a bit. And I will more than like, I know y'all say, don't slow down on the cooking. Will you help us? Not everyone watches those. <laughs> So, yeah, that will be coming to a end. I mean, yeah, no. Um, it takes twice as much time for me to produce, produce, like I'm gonna, it takes twice as much time for me to create those videos and I don't have nearly as many views. I'm spending twice as much time to record, edit, try to come up with the recipe just to get 200 views. It's not worth it. It's, as, ask any other YouTuber would they do that. No, it's not worth it. It's not worth the time and hassle putting them together. I actually have like two cooking videos on private because I'm trying to think of what the recipe is. Cause I don't, I don't make recipes. I mean, I don't use recipes. I'm typically in, you know, I'm a country cook y'all. So <laughs> I don't have to edit those and jot down the recipe or you know link one that's similar and I can make those available but no I did a couple of story time videos when I was living in my apartment um but I'm a little private I know I'm a vlogger but I'm, there's some things I don't really care to share um so I think I did like three story time videos there was one on I'm taking off some of this ice and look, I'm talking about I wanted some extra ice and then took off half of it. <laughs> there was one, um, my stay in the ICU when I had an asthma attack a couple of years ago, which was scary. Then I had another story time on, what was it about y'all? 
my first flight airplane because I know there's some of y'all who never been on the airplane girl I got sick my first, it wasn't technically it was my first flight as an adult because I flew as a child my first flight as an adult I got sick and then there was another one on oh there was one with <laughs> hold on hold on <laughs> oh lord y'all I'm sorry I'm so silly there was one where my mama's my mama's boyfriend <laughs> He fell off the roof. No, it wasn't a roof. He fell off the balcony. Y'all, when I tell you, that story time is so funny. And I'm laughing, I'm crying laughing. That was so funny. I know, it, it doesn't seem funny. And then it was sad because he broke both his legs. But his old ass decided to get on the balcony. <laughs> had to crawl his old crusty butt on that ba balcony and fell. And I knew he was down there and I wouldn't tell my mama. I was, I was a teenager though. <laughs> Oh my God. Okay, so I'll link those videos. I'll link that story time in the card up here, y'all. She's so silly. So my point is, I wanna do story time again because yeah. All right, y'all. I'm not talking about nothing. Um, I really don't have much going on this week. Um, yeah, not a lot going on. Starting back to work, I see a bunch of foolery coming in on emails. I had to respond to someone. I normally don't like to do that because then you set an expectation that you're gonna work on your PTO. But it was a lot, literally, it was about 10 or 15 emails going back and forth. Well, Vivian can take care. Well, Vivian will be back tomorrow. Vivian is here right now to answer you help us. Yes, I will be back tomorrow, but let's just go ahead and get this situated right now. <laughs> so, yeah, um, just got to catch up on work. And that is it, you know, getting closer to the um, high school reunion. Oh, girl, let me, let me talk about this. I am never shopping with my husband. Y'all, when I tell you I was irritated to the 10th degree power, first of all, this is someone who is used to 1970s fashions. <laughs> no, it's not that, y'all, my husband not that old. He's, my husband in his late 40s, but he be acting old. He, you know, the clothes that he has, his dress clothes, they do fit, but they are a slim fit, and he doesn't like that. He doesn't like the, you know, the slim fit. Um, which I think he looks great in because he's athletic though. Now the pants are not slim fit, but the tops are a little slim fit. And he's tall, he's 6'2", almost 6'3". So um, we were out shopping, went to JCPenney's and first of all, men's clothes are so expensive, so expensive. He's like, his budget is $200. I said, what? For a, a, a suit? He's like, yeah, maybe that's, that's just minimum $200. So I'm like, cool. Go to JCPenney. JCPenney has gone down. JCPenney is closing a lot of stores. So their stores is not, you know, not what they used to be, right? So, of course, they're going to jack up the prices, but it was still 50% off, but it was still expensive. So, excuse me, we found something, you know, I would say, well, what color are you looking for? So he's like, either black or beige. I'm like, black or beige? I'm like, okay, fine. So, find him a black suit. But girl, finding that took almost an hour and he finally, he finally found his fit. First of all, he's like, I think I'm a 48 long. 48? He put that on, it was huge. He said, this fits, I said, that does not fit. That is too big on you. You look like you're about a 46. Sure enough, the guy came around and said, you're actually a 44. Try to get, y'all. So he put the clothes on, put the suit on, we went in the back trying it on. He must have turned around. I was getting irritated because I'm like, this is somebody who don't even care for fashions. But he turned around in the damn mirror for like 10, 15 minutes. I said, are you okay? Because <laughs> it looks okay. It fits. Because he was, he was trying to make sure it's not too tight. He's like, I just want to make sure it's not too tight. I'm like, look, you were just wearing this for two hours at this reunion. It is not tight. Yeah, that... that so he, he got the suit and he's like, well, I can get a white tie, I mean, a white um, dress shirt. I said, yeah, well, let's find your ties. And so got that. Oh, I said, you know what you should do? We're going to do black. So we're going to do black on black on black. That's sharp, hung. That's some damn um, John Wick stuff. So I'm going to get him a um, black dress shirt and a black tie. I told him don't even do that. Just do a black dress shirt. We don't even need a tie. Black dress shirt. Really cool black dress shirt. The black suit, but black on black is very sharp. With my pink, oh yes, we're gonna be bad. So yeah, y'all, I'm not shopping with that old man anymore. 